Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cosplay Cave. Today we have a lovely guest from Montreal. Her name is Audrey Cosplay. Hello. So she's going to be working on your Mara cosplay, right? Yes. And you have the wig with you and you're yes. doing the headpiece. Yes, and some accessories uh, for the bracers and the boots. Ooh, I recently did my Aquaman. I'm like, it was like in November, so long ago when the movie came out. Um, and I like, I didn't realize how much like armor pieces she actually wears. Yeah, because it's like um, the same texture as her whole suit. Yeah. So it's, it kind of blends together, but let's on close up, you can see it's armor. And then you're like, I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna yes. make it good. Yes, if there's armor, I'm making armor. It makes it more fun, <laughs> it gives it more accents, and then when you see the whole thing together, it just looks more like put together. I like it. Also, I'm gonna just put this up here, because if you guys have been to any conventions, uh, as I have, you were at Fan Expo, you had your own table, I remember, last yeah, year, the year before? last year. Last year, uh, and you were selling some of your prints, mm -hmm. I saw. So this is one of her prints that, oops, this camera, <laughs> so this is one of her prints that we are going to be giving away today. So continue watching the stream. We're gonna throw this up here so you guys can take a look at her lovely Harley Quinn. Uh, and we're gonna be giving it away later in the stream. And uh, uh, let's just, just jump into it, shall we? Yep. So you're working on your headpiece. Mm -hmm. I am also working on a headpiece. So I didn't plan this. Like. It's funny because last week I was like working on my wig and I had the wig stand and then this week I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna bring it. No wig. Let me just work on something <laughs> different. So I decided to go with that and then you have your wig and you're working on yeah, a headpiece too. I thought it could be useful since I don't have a wig stand to like just reference it a little bit. Yeah, it's, it helped me a lot with the headband for Moana that I was doing last week mm -hmm. just to get an idea because like trying to like put it on my head and figure out what the heck was going on yeah. was a mess. And if you have a styrofoam head, it's like you're putting weight on it of the wig and then you're trying to like mold the headpiece. It's just, it's a mess. But with the stand, it's perfect. And uh, if you guys are wondering where to get any of this awesome tools that we're using, uh, minus the heat gun, uh, you can check out artofwigscanada.ca and they sell foam tools for your wigs. They sell wigs, duh. They sell wefts. And they sell the lovely wig stands and styrofoam <laughs> heads too. Uh, Kamui cosplays books. Honestly, they have, they have so much stuff. And Almost everything. Yeah, like I, it's starting to become like just a cosplay shop. Like it used to only sell wigs, and that's why they call it Art of Wigs Canada. And now it's like so much more. Yeah. And that's why our discount code, which is active starting now until tomorrow at 6:30 p.m. Eastern time is uh is uh, uh you know art gonna save your life is it art of bean it is <laughs> art of bean art of bean so put in the code art of bean at checkout and you'll save ten dollars off your fifty dollar purchase art of bean he just starts writing it in like all different ways on the screen i got it because we're bean duck so the code is art of bean yeah, you know, <laughs> dyslexia it never ceases to amaze me. R. Dabeen? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's gonna be that kind of stream, guys. It's almost YetiCon, so it's time to get real it's wacky. Con crunch. It oh. is Con Crunch. Good My friend me. texted me today when I was at work and he's like, so let me guess, any last minute cosplays you're working on? I was like, well, I decided that Storm was a good idea. So yeah, I'm literally. That's Storm. Yeah, this is storm. storm. In the storm. <laughs> this is my storm cosplay. It's really cool. Y'all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> like she has like nice. This is what you're supposed to stencil on. Yes. Yeah, so I started from re reference pictures, drew the pattern on Adobe Illustrator, and then printed it. And then it was too small for my liking, so I redrew it. Did you draw it by hand? Uh, yeah, to, uh, I didn't want to reprint. I was lazy. Yeah, no, I, f <laughs> I feel that. You know what I do, especially when it's a headpiece, I'll do like half of it and then I'll fold it. Then I'll cut it in foam and then I'll just go like snip, snip, snip as I'm going. Yeah, 
So I'm gonna pull up my reference photos here and I'm gonna get started on mine. So I have to still yeah. do my first step. You're already on your cutting. Cutting step. Yeah. Yeah. She's, cutting the pattern. She beat me. It's okay, this is not a race, Rosie. Yeah. But oh. it is like hard to see the proportion of like. Yeah. But then again, like hers is not hers is like a full headpiece. Yeah, it's pretty much like a, a crown, really. It like goes up here and then behind the here. Ears. Yeah. Yeah, hers kind of squares off, but it's weird. Some people will place it like near the ears and then other people will place it like in the back. Mm -hmm. Also, if you guys are in stream uh, and you guys want to share any of your reference photos of what you're working on or any of your crafting that you're doing, your whips, uh, you can write to us on uh, here or shoot us a message with your photo or tweet to us with the hashtag Cosplay Cave uh, and your whip and uh, we'll show it up on stream and we can we can help you out or encourage you because that's what we're all trying to do here, survive the con crunch. Yeah, well, I have no convention coming up. <laughs> yeah, no, you're doing it for Montreal Comic Con? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I'm sort of crunching for that convention. I'm taking commissions too, so like I want to do my stuff. I do stuff for my dad and I have commissions and yeah. Just busy girl. I remember so, telling you in Messenger, I was just like, oh, yeah, you're way ahead. And then I realized, you know, Montreal Comic Con is not that far away. No, it's like three, in three, three weeks. <laughs> and I have about <laughs> three and a half costumes to make until then. Right. Can relate. <laughs> That's when I told myself, like, I'm probably not going to be in cosplay at Montreal Comic Con. Because realistically, no? well, because we have our panel. So Beanduck is actually having a panel for Cosplay Cave. Uh, and we're going to be interviewing some cosplayers live. Um, and uh, I also have a panel with some other folks, some of my friends. Oh. And we're going to be talking about race and ethnicity and gender in video games and um, like geek movies. So Marvel movies and you know, basic Hollywood representation of comic mm -hmm. book stuff. Yeah. But mostly like Marvel DC and um, I'm gonna bring in some video games in that because I think it's interesting. So yeah, I have like two panels. Bean Duck is on Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Um, and I don't know when my other one is. So we'll have to figure it out. Hopefully I don't need to take a day off work. Because I didn't. <laughs> Planning ahead, I'm all about it. Yeah. Oh, Sab, hello! <laughs> Do you know which days your panels are on? Um, only know that Cosplay Cave's Bean Duck panel is going to be Sunday, 2.30 p.m. So you guys can come check that out. I will post everything on my Instagram and so will Bean Duck too, right? So um, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter, Bean Duck, and, uh, and, and follow me so that you guys can stay posted what the heck we're doing. Because we're just always, always doing something. Bento Nintendo. Hey everyone, woohoo, Cosplay Cave. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, we're, we're doing things. Whoa, Bento Nintendo, you're awesome. I love you, dude. <laughs> Is there something I don't know going on here? I, Bento, wait, Bento, <laughs> Nintendo. Shit. Wait, is that a bad word? Oh, no. <laughs> um, sugar, honey, ice, and tea is true. That's what we said last week. We're like, let's get it straight out here, dudes. It's not. This is a not swearing zone. Oh, Julian's back. Julian and I are actually going to be at YetiCon this weekend. If any of y'all are going, come and say hi to us and take our business cards. Only if you need one. But it's gonna be fun. Apparently it's gonna be cloudy. I was telling you that earlier. I'm a little scared. Yeah. Well, at least it's not the year I'm going. Well. I'm not gonna miss all the sunshine. Well, look, okay, okay. As long as it's not raining and it's not like a torrential downpour. Like, were you there two years ago? Yeah, or was there, it last there was year? the tornado. <laughs> it was crazy that yeah. year. I was really scared for my life. But Loki, I was just having fun. I was like, we might all die. There's a red warning on the screen. <gasps> Let's go. Yeah, but I don't know for you. I remember <laughs> um, like everyone was like 
squeezed up in one hotel room, drinking, doing the party. Yeah, like, like there was looking outside the window to see the tornado that wasn't there. We're like, where's the tornado? <laughs> it's just raining. Like, where's the tornado? <laughs> Man, but like you go there for the pools and the sunshine and then you're like, neither. Yeah, the pool party was canceled that year. Yes, yes. Je suis vraiment déçu. I don't think this is enough paper. Well, I have some little bits Wait a second, here. unless... That's gonna be too small. Okay, okay. look. I'm gonna go this way. Is it tall enough? I'm sure it is. I feel it's like not it like a... doesn't... I feel like... One step at a time. Okay. Cause like some of them, oh my ears are like here. I feel like it's at her ears. So like how, oh yeah, it's, that's still enough. How does it look? I storm. It just says like oh. something silly. Yeah, or you say it's storm in a snowstorm. Hey, let's get it. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Well, it's fitting for Canada. Yeah, it's true. We're always in a storm. If anybody wants to know anything about Canada, it's that we all live in igloos. And we ride mooses to go to work. Oh yeah, 100%. I love that I'm doing this without a mirror. I have a mirror. Cosplay is all about, you know, impromptu crafting. I got this, guys. Everything is gonna be just Fun. Oh, that's a fun little thing. It would be fun if it stayed up. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna use the foam to like hold its place. Is this gonna work? I yeah. This is Bloop. Oh my God, it's cute. Yes. Well, you see the difference is that yours is like so perfectly like shaped. Oh, I'll get there. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like, it's literally gonna be both sides. Okay, so let's cut the general shape first. And, yeah, and you just need to draw like half of it technically. You're not wrong, Audrey. You're not <laughs> wrong. If I know that it's gonna be like symmetrical, you don't need. Let's do that. Some lovely suggestions from our guest. <laughs> Cause I'm a noob. She has so many like different ways to like draw her her headpiece that I'm like, I don't know which one to choose. Oh, Robotross just cheered with a hundred. Yay, thank you. Ooh. I wish it was like sound effects. Cause usually when I stream, I have my headset on and I'm like, Okay, that's what's going on. And then I just hear a noise, I'm like, oh my God, someone just <laughs> cheered, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the bits, oh my God. So I just like, I reenacted that to, to show my excitement. Thank you so much for cheering. Boop, boop. Oh, and guys, don't forget to sub to us because we have adorable emotes and yeah, they're really cute. And I like it when people put them in chat. It's super cute to rewatch and seeing people actually using our adorable little platypuses in chat. <laughs> yeah, which you only get if you subscribe. Can you, does the music leak into the stream? I mean, I'm about it, like this is lit. Why don't we do this every <laughs> week? This is how I dance. If you guys see me at a rave this weekend, that's how I dance. I'll have glow sticks and I'll just be like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. So what's my signal to like, turn it up, DJ? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, go do dance, dance, uh, dance session. I'll be like, like turn it up. I'm so embarrassed of myself. This is why I don't post the link to this stream anywhere. Oh. I'm just kidding, I post it everywhere. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> knows where this is, let's be real. Rosie's here like, I hide it from the world. No, I have no shame. Okay, je pense que... Let me faire ça. I just like franglais sometimes and I realize, Rosie, people on the stream are from everywhere. Guys, write down where you guys are from. 
in the oh, chat yeah. so that I'm we can curious. we can see where where is everybody from are you from here are you right next door are you somewhere we want to know maybe you're nowhere fun fact that's what i called my first animal crossing town i called nowhere? it nowhere <laughs> it's like what do you call your town i'm like nowhere and yeah so i was super excited when e3 Nintendo Direct finally announced Animal Crossing March 20th, 2020. This, this one's getting a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Jane Kiwi, Ottawa! Snap! Nice! I didn't go to Auto Comic Con this year, damn it. But are you doing any Maybe conventions? City of Belfast, Northern Ireland. Oh my Ooh. god, I want to go to Belfast so bad! I went very shortly for about two hours. <laughs> two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. I yes, want to went, go to Ireland. I went from Dublin to uh, Giants Causeways and we stopped for a little bit in Belfast and it was raining. I was drenched in... <laughs> in Sounds like Ireland. <laughs> uh, that was oh, man. <laughs> I need to go though, like it's I just couldn't beautiful. Visit, though. Okay, I don't know. What am I doing with my life? Julian, help me. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Okay? Okay. Yeah, this is gonna happen. This is... You Bo can do it. Oh, for sure. These glasses are killing my vibe. I still... Okay, it's definitely in... Okay. Okay. <laughs> How to draw a head, piece 101. First, cry a little, okay? Well, you could start by just like outlining. My actual face, right? Yes. Cause like, I'm trying to find where my ears are and where I want it to end, but it's like perfect. So from there, and I'm trying to like see in the mirror. So I'm like holding it and I'm like. <laughs> this is gonna be totally fine. I'm a complete buffoon. If you guys thought that you were cosplay noobs. Hi, my name is Rosie Stormborn and I'm a <laughs> Cosplay addict. <laughs> it is my my your stream at the zero <laughs> year of sobriety <laughs> in terms of cosplay. Okay, attends, come on, this cozy. Sway jar. I totally got this. Like someone tuning into this is just like this girl is <laughs> wasted. <laughs> Step one, <laughs> draw a line. Watch your mic. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Papa. I have let you down. Speaking of Papas, it is Papa Day on Saturday. Oh no, it's on Sunday. Forgiven. That's what you're here for, Papa. Papa Bean Duck. <laughs> <gasps> Julian's like, I don't. <laughs> Papa, Papa Bean Duck. <laughs> Can we make it a thing? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is where this is going. So should I actually make it like this? Okay, no. This, because this is the ear. This, so that's how high I want it to be. Max, 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 max. Wait, no, I'm going to put this lower. I can't do this with my glasses. I need to take my glasses off. Okay. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want it to be higher than that because I feel like it would be too high. Mm -hmm. And then there's like, so it goes, she has the circle. Okay. Ooh. Where's your forehead? Like, <laughs> you should this. <laughs> this is yeah, my forehead. But I mean, this you is... should. Okay, so it. this is my forehead. Man, Audrey Cosplay coming in clutch with the first aid. <laughs> Headpiece first aid. You know where to find it. Uh, Audrey Cosplay. Pride 100. 100 bits for the swear jar. Yay! There's a swear jar going on right now? Not yet, but there will be one day. <laughs> Actually, like, 
should I have the stream open at the same time and have to donate to my own stream every time I swear? You could. I totally That's could. That's an idea. Um, okay, I also need to stop hitting my mic. Pardonnez-moi. That's another idea. Pardonnez-moi. Je m'excuse. Oh, man. You know what's so funny is I was just about to sing a song out loud, like just sing, and then it was a really vulgar song. <laughs> uh, I'll sing it later. But every word that was about to come out of my mouth was a swear word, so I'm glad I didn't want to go there. That's it. <laughs> Bravo, Rosie. The plain day. Vraiment bonne. Okay, so this is my forehead. Okay, so. This is where the circle kind of goes up. But then from here, it does this sort of uppy thing. And then from the uppy thing, it goes like down a little and like that. Oh my God, this is gonna be beautiful. Look at that, look at that, Audrey, are you proud of me? It needs a little refining, but you're getting there. Uh, I'm using a HB2 Papermate Classic Pencil. Um, comes in handy for days like this, especially the fact that there's an eraser on the other edge. Very important. I should do what Audrey does and just like actually print out scales and like so I know what things are measured. Oh, you already cut all the pieces of foam out. No, uh, it's just uh, little scraps. Oh, okay, because they're yeah, little pieces, from, right? Yeah, like I don't need a whole sheet for just this tiny thing. Oh wait, because it's like scales, right? Yeah, it's kind of like three-dimensional like um, this is more voluminous than these little parts. So oh, gonna... okay, okay, okay. So you're taking one millimeter and like gonna stick and layer? Um, I'm gonna, I'm not sure where I'm, how I'm gonna do this exactly. Can relate. But uh, I thought that cutting every different piece would be a good start. Um, I was thinking of covering the whole thing with warble after to like really, Make it sturdy. Okay. And uh, yeah. Hum. I also have some warbler here, which I was like, maybe I'll use it, but then I was like, why? You know? Like, I'm wearing this with a baby too. Like, who cares, right? So I'm just gonna use Mod Podge and wood glue and thicken it up, and then. I'm too scared to just like have foam go naked in a convention. Like, uh, really? I need. Yeah, but that's I the thing. I'm cover not everything with Warbler. I'm like this need. Really? Because we were having this discussion <laughs> on other Cosplay Cave episodes of like when to use Warbler and when not to. Like, do you sandwich or only use Warbler? Like, what's your your Warbler uh, method? It depends uh, on the piece that I'm doing. Sometimes I'll just. Uh, fold the warbler, cut it so it's just like a double layer. Okay. Uh, sometimes I'll use craft foam uh, and trace the warbler piece like slightly bigger and fold, fold it, it over. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I'll sandwich if I really need like that thick, sturdy piece of armor. Thick, thick, sturdy <laughs> piece of armor. Piece of armor, guys. Because um, I I used to travel a lot for a convention. I lived in Quebec City uh, until last summer. So pretty much any convention I had to like pack everything in a car and uh, travel for a couple hours yep. to attend pretty much yeah any convention. <laughs> did you do, yeah, you always did uh, Quebec City Comic Con, right? Uh, yeah, uh, the one time I, well, I haven't, not for the last two years. Um, uh -oh. Last year I was working, the other, day, the other year before that I was in Europe, so it was 
<laughs> hard different to, to do that. Yeah, Wait, yeah. can you just slide your chair closer to me? Oh, yeah. Come a little closer. Yeah. I think that's good. I think we're good. Are we good? Okay, cool. Yeah. Bye. Oh, goodbye, Julian the Coolian. <laughs> See ya, <at> Yeti Con. <laughs> I don't know what state I'll be in, <laughs> but it'll be a good one. What? I'm, I'm serious. I'm probably going to be in a hot tub, like, enjoying my life. I made a lot of coworkers really jealous today. But, um, but yes, I used to go to Quebec City Comic Con uh, pretty much every, every year. It was, yeah, like a bus ride to go there or my family or whatever, I had a ride. So it was really easy to go, but, uh, and Nadeshkan too. Yeah. I, for a little bit, I lived really close to the university wh where it was held. So I could walk to the convention from- Oh, Nadeshkan is not at the convention hall? Uh, now it is, but for many, many years, it was uh, held at uh, Université Laval. Oh. In Sainte-Foy. I didn't know that. Yeah, the more it's, you know. So it was like uh, the this spring. This spring was the first time uh, it was at the convention hall in Quebec. Oh, that's yeah. why I finally heard about it. Probably, <laughs> right? Because I was like, "What is this convention? I've never heard of you before." Oh, yeah, I've been hmm. going to that one since 2012. It was my first con convention. Wow. Yeah. And it wasn't <laughs> like all anime. Uh, mostly, mostly, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. It seems like that, like the Quebec Otakuzon. Maybe, yeah, uh, small. yeah, smaller. Um, but yeah, it's really anime focused and Japanese culture. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Basically otak, but not really, but otak. Dreaming Kiwi says, where is YetiCon? Is it in Canada? Yes, it is. Yes. It is. It's like right out of Toronto, about like an hour or two out of Toronto. It's super annoying to get to. Like you've been, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been the first three years, I think. Like every year except but this year. Is it year. already the fourth year now? Yeah, I think so. Or third year, it's the third year now. Mm, I think it's the fourth. You think it's the fourth? I think it's the fourth. Yeah, yes it is. Okay, because yes, I've been three times and I've been going since the Oh my the God, beginning. it's the fourth <laughs> year? All this time has passed. I'm sorry, I just had like an existential moment right there. Like, yeah. I'm getting old. Like, how long have I been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. Can we get some oofs in chat, please, for Rosie realizing how many years this convention she's gone to? I don't even want to think about how many Montreal Comic Cons I've been to, because I've been to yeah. way more of those. Oh man, <laughs> how many fat next holes I've been to? Oh God, my first fan expo was before I even graduated and I graduated in 2010. Dude, oh, I'm, you've been cosplaying for a while now. I didn't, um, I didn't used to always cosplay when I went to conventions. Okay. So I, I was just like going to go get stuff signed and meet artists and I was doing more of the okay. panels and um, comic book stuff. And then I realized, oh my God, people are dressing up. I should totally dress up. Oh. Yeah, so that's how I, I kind of got into it in high school. Um, by the end of my high school, I was like, me and my friend were like, oh, let's casual cosplay. So we mm. casual cosplayed, and that was a lot of fun. So from then on, I realized like, it's pretty easy to do, let's do it. Let's get it, let's go. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely to a different standard than like people like you are used to. Well, it's a caliber, it's, it's a different caliber. It's my job too, so. Yeah. Well, not cosplaying per se, but making costumes, so. Okay, let's talk about that because when I walked in, I was telling Audrey, I was like, hey, this is my hat. And I did something to my lovely hat because it was too big. So I took this lovely piece of Arda Wigs Canada foam <laughs> that I bought using our discount code Arda Bean for $10 off my $50 purchase at ArdaWigsCanada.ca. And uh, so I took that foam, and since I have a tiny little head, like literally I can shop for hats in the kids department and, and they would be perfect. 
but uh, I'm an adult, so I don't do that. Uh, <laughs> instead, I go to normal people stores where all the hats are giant. Okay. <laughs> so I bought this one and it was it was too big. Um, it's 56 inches wide. Anyway, so I took the foam and stuck it in between like the piece of fabric. Like I don't know what you would call this. Mm -hmm. Good question. Uh, <laughs> Quizzing you. Yeah, I'm not a chapelier. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but this is a chapeau. I'm so funny. But yeah, so I stuck the foam in between here and Audrey was just like, oh yeah, we do that all the time. What do you think, like when we make costumes for like, you make costumes for movies or? Uh, well, uh, I do mostly uh, TV shows and film, but I do uh, like events, live shows. Uh, I just finished working uh, with Cirque du Wars and oh. uh, yeah, nice. But yeah, like let's say, uh, we have to like dress 200 extra for uh, a period piece. We're not gonna custom made 200 hats. Nope. <laughs> we'll just find hats, stick some phone in it if it's too big, and there you go, you have your hat. Seriously, because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Well, it's the budgets too, like. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have like, well, yeah, costume, costume departments don't have the biggest budget, no. <laughs> depending on the project. And uh, what was the most fun costume you ever had to make, but for work? Um, most fun costume? I really enjoyed doing uh, late Victorian costumes. Ooh. Uh, it was completely new when I got into that project, so it was like fun to learn new things. And uh, one other project that I really liked uh, was doing costume for Cirque du Wars. Yeah. Like um, the men's costumes um, were 1940s style suits, but suits aren't made to like do cartwheels in it or yeah. acrobatics or anything. So it was like the challenge of having the look of a st really structured garment and making it flexible enough for the artist to be able to do everything it needs to do. Yeah. So, so how did you manage that? What kind of fabric did you guys end up using? Uh, well, it's, uh, we end up, ended up using a uh, stretchy fabric with a percentage of spandex and uh, using a stretchy uh, interfacing to give that structure but not block the stretch of the fabric and uh, do really specific stitches and it was lots of uh, lots of fittings yeah. lots of uh, dressed up rehearsals oh yeah because to you test have to, everything yeah. oh man did you have like broken costumes like while they're in the circus and like doing their things and it just like falls apart <laughs> Not falls apart, but like uh, a seam that ripped because a specific area of the body is really challenged yeah. in the performance. So you you would have like to do uh, patches or stuff like that uh, underneath so you don't see it and like do tons of stitchings and like... Wow, it's like so much to think about. Yeah. <laughs> and like imagine taking all that knowledge and then going into cosplaying and then you have someone like me. <laughs> so you really have people in cosplay of like every level. Literally. Yeah, but it, it's fun. It's for me cosplay. Um, I started cosplaying before getting into the work that I do. But for me, it was really just the fun of dressing up, uh, connecting to characters that you love. And yeah. so it was so much fun that I was like, wait, I want to do that for a living too. <laughs> yeah, like and like, I can totally relate to that. It's the same reason yeah. why I cosplay too. Like, I just really like the characters. And I mean, like, even at a convention like YetiCon, where it doesn't really require you to, you know, put much effort into your costumes, um, and you want to just do a bathing suit, it's still like you're choosing your characters based on like a certain drive to mm -hmm. get that done. And then, yeah. and like wanting to be that character for a little bit. Um, and that being said, one of my favorite costumes you ever did was your Soul Calibur costume. Oh yeah, it was a fun yeah. one. I hate wearing it. I think I wore it twice. 
but it was really fun to make. <laughs> oh. Well, Ben is showing the slideshow oh, of like oh. a bunch of Audrey's different costumes. Did you send in that photo too? Uh, was it yeah. Talon? Uh, no, it no, was it Tara. No, it was uh, Tara. Yeah. With the, hoop, with the hula hoop. The hoop. But who did I, who did I interview who did Talon? Um, it's Emily Emily. Emily. Emily did Talon. Yeah, so Emily did Talon. Oh, so good. Both of you guys. Like, uh, mm. That was like my childhood game. You know that time I spent on that game? But it's so funny. Like, Soul Calibur has this thing where like, when you're playing, every time you like beat a character, like every time you, you attack them, you can break off a piece of their clothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was always like, I haven't seen anyone cosplay like lewd Soul Calibur, which is funny because it, well, it could be totally easily make done. sense. Could it be would easily totally done, make yeah. sense. Because like, yeah. It's just, that's yeah. what ends up happening to them. And my thoughts. Like, uh, a character like Tyra could be easily be done lewd because it's just like a tiny leather strap, but I don't have breasts, so I, they look really Girl. covered. <laughs> Can relate. <laughs> the struggle of Bob's. There is no Ben, only Zul. <laughs> There's no Ben, only Bob's. <laughs> I have a problem. But yeah, that tiny strap of leather look. And it would look cool. Like it would look yeah. part of the character. That's one thing that I was like, I mean, I don't I don't mind lewd cosplays. It's just sometimes I, I get a little unsettled, but that's just like my the, the little prude inside me. Who's just like, oh God, why is this character lewd? Uh, 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 uh. But I don't, I don't really mind it. It's just like, I never thought of that character like this. Where a Soul Calibur, I'm like, I've seen it all. Yeah, well, I don't <laughs> mind it either. It's just not the content that I follow people for. I, yeah. I, 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 the accounts that I follow on Instagram, whether it's cosplay or other things, I'm looking for inspiration, artistic stuff. So I tend to follow people that produce more like crafty yeah. content, like work in progress, finished products. Yeah. More than loot stuff. Yeah. It's not my cup of my cup of tea. No. Which is totally fine. Yeah. Oh. So we asked the chat, what got you guys into cosplay? We got some answers. Osab Ooh. says, coming across some photos on the internet many, many years ago. It was fun following the build process for those that posted them and seeing the end results. Super true. Like yeah. that's one of the things that made me also realize how even though the cosplay might look really difficult, it if you take it piece by piece, it's totally doable. Like, I remember how intimidating yeah. I was. And nowadays, there's so much resources. Yeah. Like, it's so easier, like, getting a good result on a first try because you have, like, a bazillion tutorials, you have yep. good quality ma materials. Yeah, tools. Yes. Books. Literally. It wasn't a thing 10 years ago. YouTube. So much YouTube. Yeah. God. I remember the first time I tried to make a chest armor, there was like maybe a couple videos. Like I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. What's going on? And then after a while, I was like, God, it's so easy. Like you see little p people's whips. Um, mm -hmm. And you fall into that Instagram uh, uh, cycle of like following a bunch of cosplayers. And you're like, <laughs> oh my God, this one poster whips. And they made the costume I want to mm -hmm. make. I'm going to follow them and see how they do it. So. Yeah, yeah, Kenpatsu was one of those cosplayers for me. Like, I loved seeing yes. what she was building and like piece by piece. And um, if you pay on her Patreon, like you'll get to have the different like um, stencils and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I find that so practical because it like like you're showing us here, the stencil is a lot of the work. Like, look at me. <laughs> look at this struggle. It's real. If that work was that for me. But um, but honestly, I, I live for the struggle. I, I quite like it. I quite like it. What was the thing you struggled with the most in cosplaying? Like when you were trying to build or... Um, I still struggle with it. I'm not that good with armor and props, mostly because really? I'm not equipped for it. Like okay. most people in Montreal, we live in small apartments. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna like build a big sword or whatever in my kitchen. <laughs> 
takes up your entire house. There it goes. I'm lucky I have yeah, a garage, but, but most people don't. Yeah, I don't have a garage. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. And uh, I don't live alone, so I can't like take up the entire space. It wouldn't be respectful yeah. for the people that I live with. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, I remember my first cosplay was Katarina from League of Legends. I made the armor with um, a newspaper. What? Yes, even the little spikes, I like cut like half a circle, fold it, glued it Excuse like me? that. And uh, I wore it to a Thakiton and I, I have pictures where one of the spikes fell and you would see the little circle where it used to be with what was printed on it and it was like a Doritos ad so I have like <laughs> Doritos like, armor on Katarina. Doritos. <laughs> Man, you take what you can get. Yeah. I remember trying to make chest armor with cardboard. Dark oh times. God. <laughs> Those were dark, dark days, my dudes. Yeah. The it dark not, days of cosplay. Did not go well. <laughs> And one day I discovered Warbla. Changed my life. How did you discover Warbla? For me, uh, it was like quite random. Uh, when I discovered Kamui cosplay, when I f I stumbled upon her page at some point, and she was uh, doing everything in Warbla back then, pretty much. So I was like, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. What's what that? Is this? There's tutorials on YouTube? Oh my god! <laughs> Let me watch this! Yes. And I was almost like building along, like watching the tutorial, pause it, doing my thing, start it again. And well, that's what it is. Like, that's how you learn at the end of mm -hmm. the day. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Shall we, my dudes? Let's nice. uh, see. I feel like then Yeah, this is definitely like fitted on a head. I also have to figure out how I'm going to like stick it on my head, put it on a headband. I have a headband. Or just do two clips on the side and just I think the clips would be easier. Easier, probably. right? Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're gonna wear a wig with it. Yeah, I will. It's gonna stuck in the net and you'll be good to go. That was my X-Men song. Okay. Well. This is going places, guys. Look at my lovely sketching abilities. <laughs> Good God. Someone take the mic away from her. Ben didn't hear that, so that was great. Right. <laughs> Joke's on me, he did. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> abort mission. <laughs> okay, why is that? Is that Marshall? In I'm English, wrong. that means it's working now. Are you playing it? <laughs> oh, we got this. Like, this is what I needed to motivate me. God, man, now I'm like just thinking about the cartoons. 90s kids, you know. I don't know if this is like low enough. Yeah, it'll be fine. Or is it too low? No, but it's gonna fold anyway, right? So. Yeah, you have to think it's gonna. It's yeah. 3D, not. 2D. But I don't understand. <laughs> 
Herpeter. Let's see, are my scissors in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Oh man, I have so many white wigs at home too. Like I have to decide like which white wig I'm taking with me. Like do I want my lace front white wig? Do I want just like my white wig with like a bit of a, a bit of a bang? Like, well, oh, God, so many options. Are you gonna wet it at the pool? Maybe. So I'm not gonna wear my good one because I have this one that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mais c'est comme vraiment beau. Je veux pas le détruire pour un cosplay de... Ouais, avec le clair, puis... Yeah, no. Yeah. Not worth it. Why it gotta be white, though? Why is your wig white? Why? Isn't she blonde? JK, guys, please don't. Don't clip that and make it sound like I was actually saying that. <laughs> oh, Lord, forgive me. Mama just took my scissors. I can't find them in the box. I must have took them home last week. Do you have a scissor? You do. Yes, I have scissors. But I like I find that not okay. Not believable. I brought some of my equipment home, but I had scissors at home. Rosie, you're silly. I'm silly. Sorry. I love how he's like, watch your mic, Rosie. Cheese. Okay. Uh huh. To my hair? Okay. Ow, ow. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. I take it all back. It's going back there. Now I'll move my hair to this side. Oh, I see them like. Storm has like a choker in some of the. Oh. Like, check out this one. Okay, no, it's not really a choker. Uh, it's more uh, her cape that's attached around her neck. I could always just make the little X Men symbol. Yeah, it's not really necessary. I mean, I could always just make it and people would know who I was a little more. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh well. We'll see. So for now, I'm just gonna cut the entire shape of it. And see how it goes. Okay. Not too bad for the cosplay cave. <laughs> Jeez, Rosie. I have no faith in myself. Just gonna move that aside. Oh my God, it's a, I, I, one of the people cosplaying uh, Storm is like a grandma. Oh, <laughs> it's, cute. It's Nonna Storm. Nonna. Okay, so I'm going to cut this like thicker. Okay. You're surviving. Oh, I, I, oh, I'm gonna get, oh shit. Everything's cool. Everything's great. <laughs> the moment of truth. Ha, ha, would you look at that? Would you look it at that? It worked. It worked. So if I do that, it's gonna be fine. God, guys, we got this. Okay. Can't believe I need to leave for YetiCon at like 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, chuckles are right. It's funny, my friend was like, Rosie, meet me here, like at our rendezvous point at 7.30 in the morning. I was like, <laughs> because we wanna get to the pool, but you know what? I don't regret it because Thursday is supposed to be the nicest day. So you're gonna get to enjoy the pool and with no one there, it's gonna be fantastic. Um, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. That's what's most important is spending time with your friends and enjoying, enjoying my vacation, enjoying my time off. Like, 
I'm not freaking out about my cosplays. Maybe I just won't bring any cosplays. I'm just kidding. What? No, no. cosplay? No cosplays, but it's Yannicon. Well, I say that, but I barely cosplay when I go there. Yeti? I know. Yeah. I spend right? most of the time in the pool. Same. Or doing activities. OMG. Okay. What was your favorite activity at YetiCon? Like uh, the fun stuff. Um, I really liked um, the opening ceremonies in the first years. Okay. It was really fun. Uh, pool parties. Obviously, yes. Pool parties. Um, and I love just like going up the gondolas. I love that too. And go sightseeing. It's fun. I don't get to do that at, that often. Right? Yeah. I don't get to be in the wilderness. I also like the, um, the La Luge. Like there's a luge. Like, oh, the yeah, mountain yes. coaster. The mountain coaster. So yes. much fun. Oh my yes, gosh, I it goes remember. super fast. I was in my kitty cat cat oh. arena when I did it, I remember. And last year we could do like the big jump. The like that like Assassin's Creed like yeah leap thing. Yes. And I'm afraid Hide of heights, vacation. so I almost died a thousand times. But doing you did that. it. Yeah, I did it. I'm trying to challenge myself. You know what I really want to do? Did you see like those paths that were like in in the forest? They would like set up like mm -hmm. a different like um. How do you call yeah. them? Like obstacles, and you would have to like walk through or like go mm -hmm. in the trees and stuff. It was so cool. Yeah, I checked to do it last year, but uh, you had to do like a two hour class or something before doing it. Why? Um, I think it's because of the height of certain uh, oh. obstacle thingies. So yeah. like, it's like a security procedure, I think, that you had to go through if you wanted to do it. Wow. And okay. sign a waiver and it was like, well, I'm here for the convention, maybe another time. Yeah. Yeah, I, there's one in the old port. Like, I don't need to break my head with that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my ideal vacation would be in Australia. Really? Why Australia? Like, I, Australia has a lot of cool animals. Like, that's why, oh yeah, you can go ahead. That's why I would go. But also, creepy, scary insects. Scary, Spiders. like, je <laughs> je jellyfish that can kill you that are the size of my pinky nail. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. Scared, afraid, but kangaroos and koalas. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like they have a decent variety of panels scheduled for this year's YetiCon. From the quick glance I took, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, they also been doing a lot more like social media promoting. So like, mm -hmm. I've been on Instagram, like I've been seeing what's gonna happen. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just wondering how I'm gonna survive. Like, I'm already tired, okay? Like, coffee is your friend. Coffee is my friend, Red Bull is my friend. Oof. My ideal vacation would be Blue Mountain, Ontario with Rosie Stormborn. Oh, Julian oh. the Coolian. <laughs> we'll be there tomorrow. It's gonna be a blast. I'm actually really excited. I, um, I do wanna like keep people posted with what's going on, so if you, Ooh, okay, don't wanna have to make this a little stiff. So if you guys wanna keep up with what me, the shenanigans I'm getting myself into, uh, follow my Instagram. I'll definitely post there. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> uh, Dreaming Kiwi says, the ocean is hella pretty and the coral is a thing, but the reason why I love it so much is because I did a school project on it in second grade, and ever since I've wanted to go. It is a beautiful place, and the beaches are beautiful. But then I'm like, there's so many other beautiful beaches without dangerous animals that will kill me. But you know what? You only live once, and you might as well just like suck it up and just go, you know? Like, yeah. why are we so afraid? For me, I'm not that afraid. I think no one would live there if it was that, that bad. Yeah. yeah. It's more like the 20 hour flight. I'm like, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, 20 hour flight. That'll definitely do it to you going you know, across the globe. 
But you do it once you go, you enjoy it. Yeah. Ooh. We got a little treat for you guys coming oh, up soon. Already. already. Yeah, man, already. I'm telling you. You know what's funny is like, for the people who've been around watching Cosplay Cave for a long time, like we started back in February and um, it got dark really early then, but now it's always sunny. Like when we leave, it's barely just getting dark. Mm -hmm. So it's like quite refreshing to see that. And uh, it feels so much earlier. Like last time it felt like the show was longer, but it's just because it was getting dark out, but now it's like sunny and you know, life's good. Yeah, and it's really warm out today. Yeah, it's like beautiful. Finally, that summer weather is hitting us. It got like cold randomly after it got hot. And I was like, what's going on? You told us it was summer. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought Ben was talking to me. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to eat a strawberry. Don't mind me. I'm so weird. I have issues. But y'all know that. Who doesn't? Seriously, boring people, that's who. <laughs> huh. Okay, so now the dilemma is, so I need to make like a hole in it. So I think I'm gonna do like, I'm wondering how big I should do that. Well, depends how you wanna do it. I'd say if you want like a floating-ish gem, you could make a hole, but if you, you could just put the gem over. Or there's no gem. Oh, there's no gem. I, I thought there was like a red-ish gem. Oh, then there's a hole. It I looks guess. kind of like an old, like there are some of them that, that have it as a circle, but I'll make it like in between. Yeah, let's do an in between. <laughs> okay, got it. Woo -woo. Oh, we got this. It's gonna be good. This feels like my office right now. Like, it was so nice. And then the vents go back on, and you're like, it is freezing. And there's no way to control it, because it's the building. Literally my life. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this thick. I'm just gonna take your scissors. So I have to make a note of like, bring back my scissors when I come back to Cosway Cave next week. And I'll be back from YetiCon with some fantastic stories. <gasps> okay, we're gonna snip snap that. Snip it, snip snap. Snip, 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 snip. snip, snip. Hey, Sama, come on, man. Yeah. Why? Why? I'm just gonna make that a little pointier just so that it's... Am I storm enough yet? Okay, moving on. <laughs> now the next step. Oh, I won't need that yet. So you could take that. Oh, my knee just popped. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hi, knee, how are ya? Okay. All right, so now we're gonna trace this out on the phone. Ooh, there's a little sticky piece right there. What the heck? What the heck? Okay. Um, we're gonna keep the mirror here. Oh my lorsh. Wait. I'm silly, I need the full headpiece. So now I need to actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being silly, guys. Don't mind me. Okay. Or should I do it this way? Yeah, let's do it that way. Better, better. Okay. What is everybody in chat working on? Or do you guys not cosplay? I'm always curious, like, I feel like there's so many people who like come on and they just 
don't know what to say and they stay quiet and I always try to have conversation and I'm like, hey, 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 what do you do? What do you do? Where, wh what are you up to now? Are you, uh, are you crafting? And then like, you know, what kind of music do you listen to? What, uh, what places do you want to travel to? It sounds like I want to date, like what the heck, Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> like that's how awkward first date. When you're just like, ask me anything, AMA. I mean, Cosplay Cave is always an AMA technically. <laughs> so, it's just like a dating show. I have cosplayers on all the time. I'm working on my genderbed Karna from Fate Apocrypha. Ooh. Ooh, I haven't finished Apocrypha. Like, it's I know it's on Netflix. Yes, I need to. I need to watch it. I need to finish yeah, it. Yeah, I got started on it a couple weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah, but I've been watching Avatar at the same time. So, I heard like the uh, the newer Avatar series is like pretty good. I didn't give it a chance though. Hmm. Sorry. I should. I really should. Oof, it is getting cold in here. How are your hands? Freezing? I'm, I'm gonna get us like those um, like heat packets. Like, you know, eSports players have them. Oh. And they like, because uh, they're at the computers, right? And it's freezing in there. So they have like their little heat packets. Keep their hands warm so they can win. At esportsing and stuff. At esportsing. E e <laughs> Do you esports? <coughs> I just like thought about it and I choked on my own drink. This oh my cute. god. Ben, don't type those things to me. And if y'all want to see what Ben just typed to me, Stay tuned. We'll, we'll tell you what it was. <laughs> I'm just so weird. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I know I just thought about this, but um, speaking of cosplay, next Thursday, I have a launch party for one of the video games that my company had worked on. Ooh. It's a D&D &D game. And, <clears throat> um, I was gonna bring one of, our LARP swords. <laughs> cool. I'm so glad I got that out there. Anybody, if anybody's watching from our studio, you know where I got it from. Bean Duck Productions. I do like to have my own sword. I could bring my own sword, honestly. Like, it's made of war blah. Like, but then again, if I'm an elf, why do I have a sword? Yeah, elves have short swords. But it's funny, it's for my Valkyrie, so. It looks like a Norse sword and not so much an elfish mm. sword. Hmm. Currently being tempted to try to make this, but it will be a lot of work, says Oseb. The link is not working. <clears throat> but I want to see photo. Okay. Photo incoming. I believe you. I always believe everything that Ben tells me. Oh God. The table just almost splintered me, but my scarf saved me. I should make a list of like all the things I need to bring to YetiCon. Oh. 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 Yep. That would be a lot of work. Yeah, like I don't know how anyone would do his head. Yeah. Thinking. Oh, and you guys, I'm not sure if the link works in Twitch. I don't think it does, but it's Mysterio. It's Mysterio's from um, the Sp new Spider-Man movie. Um, I don't know, like c c clear warbler, plexiglass. Like, yeah, or um, a fishbowl. 
A fish bowl. A big fish bowl. Yeah, a big one, but round, like spherical. It would already be in a sphere, so you wouldn't have to like but if I attempt like... to do it. Oh, but I feel like some of the fish bowls are like flat, you know, on both sides. And you'd have to find like a round one. Oh, guys, honk, honk, it's that time. It's giveaway time, honk, honk. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's like a half honk, half goose noise. Like, I don't even, I, I don't even know. But if you guys wanna win Audrey's lovely print, just type exclamation cosplay in the chat and you will have a chance to win her print, which us at the Beano Production Studio will send straight to you. So it is open right now. And just write exclamation mark cosplay in the chat and it'll be open for 10 minutes. So the time is ticking and 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 and, and lives will be will be lost and lives will, will be made. And 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 in the end, only one will leave with a, a print of Audrey. Only one. That was dramatic enough. <laughs> yes, it was. I'm all I'm all about doom and gloom. All about the drama. All about the drama. And the bass. No, Rosie, don't. No. 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 My fingers are really cold. Hmm. Okay. I'm thinking of other chat like things I could ask the chat. And I'm gonna ask you too. So while Audrey answers, you guys can answer in the chat. What is it? What was your first cosplay ever? That I wore or that I made? That you wore. That I wore was uh, you know, Gazai from Mirai Nikki. I have to look this up. Apparently my Animu game is not so great. C'est quoi? Uh, you know. You know. Gazai. Ah, that was easy. Oh, right. This yeah. girl, the, so, the freaking uh, yeah. token yandere. Yeah, so I. It was the first cosplay that I wore. It was uh, a black dress and a wig that I bought off the internet. Uh, oh, was that the one that you had to fix? No, that was your blonde uh, Harley Quinn. Yeah, Blonde Harley Quinn, uh, I didn't even fix it. I just bleached my hair. You were like, screw it, <laughs> screw it. We're bleaching my hair. Um, oh yeah, so many people have them. I, I, okay, I know the, yeah, the black and dress. The f yes, she has like a black bustier type dress. Oh yes, this is yeah. this, this, this. That is yeah. adorable, that is so cute. Oh, there she is, naked yeah. on a daki. Hey. So, yeah, I... But this costume wore it to Nadeshkan in 2012. Wow. If I remember well. And uh, after that, I was like, now I'm gonna make the costume. But did you buy the dress or you had a dress? No, I bought a dress. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like, it, it's a black dress. There's nothing like um, too crazy about it that you won't know. Yeah, it like if you don't get that any dress. like sweetheart neckline dress could work pretty much. Literally, like yeah. I'm seeing so many different kinds of black dresses. Yeah, and um, I had a friend of mine who wanted to cosplay her at some point, and I had a dress that sort of looked like this one. So I was just like, "Hey, here's my dress. There you go. <laughs> Take it." Yeah, like what I've seen her a lot in is the um, ah, is the schoolgirl uniform. Yeah, yeah, the purple like uniform. Oh, cute! And uh, the first cosplay that I made, uh, well, I made two sort of at the same time. I made the Katarina cosplay and um, her fallen god type of thing uh, at the end of the anime. Sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. It's okay. You <laughs> lent me your scissors, so I owe you a debt of spoilers. I 
that well, you have repaid? Well, just tell me anything from Game of Thrones. I'm not up to date. <laughs> No, because then like half the chat is gonna be like super annoyed. Yeah, and anyway, uh, I I can't I can't avoid the internet forever. So wait, have you already avoided? Um, I try to stay away from spoilers, but I mean, while this season aired, everyone was talking yeah. about it everywhere. So you what can know. you do? I already know. I already know. But it's going to be one of those things, what I've noticed with series like that, is once I start re-watching it, because I'm watching it from the beginning, I'll forget things. Yeah. Well, it ran for so long, and there's so many details. It's so dense. Yeah. You're bound to miss a couple things at some point. Yeah, you're better off just binging, right? Yeah. Honestly, it's like the best thing to do with Game of Thrones, is just watch it all at once. <sighs> if only we knew. <laughs> oh! I just thought of something. Are you up to date on the new season of The Hundred? No. No. Oh, I'm not. Because like, I don't know. I kind of like, well, that's how like initially I found Audrey was we were both doing a similar cosplay. And like, it was one of those exact moments like I described earlier in the stream where I found someone on Instagram who was like building the same thing I wanted to build, but she was doing it way better. And I was like, I'm gonna do the dumbed down version of that because I ain't gonna happen. Or like a different outfit that's a little simpler. Where she did the full Hedda cosplay from the 100. And I was like, oh, God bless. And it looks so good and your makeup was so good. And I was like, okay, but at least it gives you something to like look at and be like, wow. Okay, I can base myself off this. Also guys, five more minutes for the giveaway. So don't forget exclamation mark cosplay in the chat for the next five minutes. And then we're gonna announce the winner. Um, yeah, so that's how I found you. And no. no, I haven't kept up with the series just because I, I think I only watched one season after like uh, Head Alexa dies. Spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, that was so long ago. That was like three yeah, years three ago. Yeah, three years ago, yeah. Like, it doesn't damn. count anymore. It does not count anymore, okay? It's yeah. like if someone tells you about the Red Wedding, it's yeah. like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> ben, there's a giveaway that's gonna happen in the next four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. Oh well. But yeah, so, so why? What's up? Oh well, it's starting to. I haven't seen this this week's episode. It's airing now, the sixth season, and so far I'm liking it a lot. Okay, we're getting like. Nice plot, tw plot twists and... Like, like at the beginning plot twists? Or like better than at the beginning? Um, I would say it... Like, I don't know for you, but I the, the series like sort of had a little low around season three, four, like right after Alexa died. Uh, yep, that's when I stopped. But, um, Season five and now season six, I think they're getting back to like the quality of season one and two, I okay. think. Okay. Yeah. Like, hey, you have they did a little. Me. I'm definitely gonna be like downloading episodes. Well, it's all on Netflix. Like, it airs on TV on Tuesdays and on Wednesday it's on Netflix. So after I'm done here, I'm going home and watching it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what I'm gonna do because. My way to get home is so long. I love like it's at it's like has a 98% match for me. I know I haven't been keeping up. Okay, I was at season five. Okay. I keep in. So you have season five to finish and then there's season six. Oh my god, like I remember <laughs> I'm spreading the love of this show. Like I, I can't believe that these actors have been able to portray these roles for so long. Like that's the other cool thing, is like the fandom around the 100 is so big. And it's a Canadian show. With well, a lot it's of Canadian actors. It's filmed in Canada, but mo uh, a lot of the cast is Australian and it's an American production. Really? Yeah. Like I El like Eliza like Tyler to... that plays Clark, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. Australian. She yeah. completely transfor transforms her voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the same for Bellamy, uh, Lexa is Australian too. Octavia is Canadian, she's from Ontario. Yeah, yeah, she's like, 
I know everywhere. a lot of trivia about the hundred. <laughs> I, I love Octavia. She's my buddy. Mm. And yeah, I, well, I can't wait for Comic Con. Like, we've got three actors of the show coming, so I'm taking my Alexa cosplay out again. Yes. Yes, I'll be wearing her on Saturday of Comic Con. Oh my God! And yes, I'm doing uh, a few updates. I need to, to find make you. it even better. Okay, I need to find you. Oh my God! Like oh. it's honestly, it's such a nice costume design too. Like all the costumes in that mm -hmm. show, because post apocalyptic, post apocalyptic. I was like, I would totally wear this. Totally. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I would really enjoy wearing my Lexa co Lexus coat on a daily basis. Right. <laughs> It is so epic, and that like yeah. red shawl that she has, like, yeah, girl, don't get me started. I can't. So good, such a good costume design. But yeah, yeah, and what I really enjoy, it's mostly made from things that are around here right now. Like it's not a post-apocalyptic that it that is completely fictional. It's yeah. really military based clothing that are made functional for that uh, universe. Yeah. Because they're working with like the leftovers of the past. Yeah, it's really too. a scavenging type of universe. So, yeah. and what would survive a nuclear apocalypse would be military clothing, leather clothing, denim stuff, metal pieces like. Yeah. And you kind of start noticing all these little details that are really fun. Does it show <laughs> that she makes costumes for things? Because, yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, it's time to close the giveaway. So we're going to announce the winner in a few moments. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I just realized that I have no idea where I am in the season itself. So I'm going to have to wait till I get home and just actually Check watch it through. And figure it out. But I'm super excited. I loved the 100. That's why I wanted to make Lexa, even mm -hmm. though I was gonna choose simpler outfit and I didn't, you know, I had uh, Frédéric um, yeah. Jovin who helped me. So that was that was cool. That was that was cool that she wanted to do that with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, so I made my little dream come true. But uh, but and I saw you. I was like, yo, she's who I want to see at Comic Con. <laughs> it's just too good, man. It's just too well, good. It's one of my favorite cosplay. I oh yeah, wear it regular regularly, and I think I made it like back in 2015 or something. Yeah. So it's been a couple years. Yeah, and it has its use, and it's gonna have its use again at yes. Montreal Comic Con. Oh wait, you have the winner. You do. Okay, well, I'm gonna do a little drum roll here. And the winner is... Come on, Ben. Are you waiting for the right note? Jeez. <laughs> He's still not typing it, guys. <laughs> Dreaming Kiwi, you get to have this lovely print of Audrey cosplay shipped to you from our lovely studios here in Montreal. Oh, so just DM us in the uh, Twitch uh, chat. Not not in the chat. DM us. D DM us. You know that thing Somewhere. you do when you DM people. <laughs> Slide in there in the DMs. And uh, yeah. send us your address so we can send you the print of the lovely Audrey cosplay. Sorry, it's not a print of a uh, head Alexa. Next time. <laughs> or are you doing any conventions like as a guest this year? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna bring uh, a couple prints with me Sunday at the crafting day at the meltdown. Oh, it's this Sunday? Yeah, it's this Sunday. But it's YetiCon weekend. I, I know. But, you know. WTF meltdown? But yeah, so I'm the guest there uh, this weekend. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a couple prints, or um, I have my, my Etsy store with prints, patterns, uh, and a couple costume pieces that you can buy. So you, what kind of costume pieces do you sell? Uh, I have a, a replica of Lexa's belt. 
oh, okay, that I just finished prototyping. I put it on sale like yesterday. Oh, nice. Um, I have a, a couple period undergarment accessory thingies. And I'm working on uh, other prototypes to put on like uh, probably Mary Marvel's dress. A couple things coming up. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't even know you had an Etsy shop. Yes, damn. So yeah, my prints are there. And all the links are on your Instagram too, like if someone yeah, goes there. Yeah, um, on my Instagram I have the links, the link to my website, but then on my website you have like my Etsy, all my social media, okay. uh, everything's on there. Everything. Everything. All of it. I love how you erased, Ben was like erasing who the winner was, but you erased it backwards, so I just wrote a red and the winner is, I was like, wait, another winner? <laughs> <laughs> no, Rosie, you're just very confused, as always. But yeah, uh, what a good show though. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I, I drummed so well, I made the gesso break everywhere. Ah, <laughs> moving on, okay. Can I use your scissors? I'm gonna cut yeah. this lovely piece yeah, out. Once and for all. Okay. Moment of truth. Another drum roll. And the drum roll begins again. <laughs> We're never gonna stop. We're just such good drummers. Yes, we should change careers, Pat. Yeah, we should definitely go into session drumming. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do with my life. Okay, so. So what's the next step for what you're building? Um, well, I wanted to cut all my little piece in foam first, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time, but after the foam, I would probably like just cover everything in warbler, mold it to a little, to my head with the wig. And the heat gun? with the heat gun um, and then I would do a first uh, rough sending of the piece before uh, the priming and then more sending and then the paint. That's like, uh, like I noticed that a lot of the good crafters that I know will do like multiple steps of like sending and priming so that their pieces when they're done and they're painted smooth. Yeah, they're smooth, they look good. Um, it looks professional, unlike mm -hmm. mine. Um, <laughs> Rosie, stop shitting on yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's a bad word. But I'm not actually pooping on myself. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Sometimes I swear, the shit that comes out of my mouth, oops, I said shit again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad word. I just keep telling myself to convince myself I'm okay. Okay, I got this. You got this, Rosie. I'm just you so excited it. that I'm gonna be by the pool tomorrow, sipping oh. a margarita. I want to be by the pool too. I won't be sipping a margarita, but I'll definitely be by the pool. Why not? In hotels, in the Yirikan's hotel room, you have like fridges and stuff. Oh, we're for sure gonna have liqueur, but we will not. I don't know, I'm not a margarita fan. I don't know how I feel about it. Also guys, don't drink underage. I know I said this last stream too. It's convention season, a lot of people, um, you know, dr drink at yeah. conventions. Be safe, be careful. If you're underage, do be weary of the wall. Yeah, we're old ladies, so we can drink. <laughs> yeah, we're old. I'm <laughs> Girl, you see my wrinkles, like. Come yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get like little. Oh, I get so, I get so like self-conscious about like. The, okay, we're gonna stop talking about but this. But I still get carded when I go buy wine, so I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm great, <laughs> like I'm beyond great. I'm doing good for myself. Yeah, no, I feel you. Ravana, yay, my Wednesday thing got canceled, so I get to drop by. Hey, Rosie. Hey, Ravana. It's nice to see you again. What was your Wednesday thing? 
I'm curious, tell us about it. I'm so, I keep thinking that I'm gonna go to work tomorrow and then I'm like, wait, no, it's Yerikon. So for this one, you booked the time off. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Yerikon, I booked the time off because my friend Jesse, who's like driving there and like booked our room and everything, he's like meticulous. He was like, Rosie, take your time off. Rosie, did you do this? Did you do that? And I'm like, ah, stop, you're stressing me out. But in reality, he's just, you know, trying to make me not forget mm -hmm. what I have to do. So it is, it is what it well, is. Well, imagine you've booked your hotel, your transportation and everything, and then, oh, I can't get off work. <laughs> I, I know people who that has happened to, and it's no fun. Yeah. Not fun at all. Perfect. Okay. So we did this. I'm just gonna trim it the other side a little bit. Make it perfect. Awesome possum. Oh, let me put up my mirror again. I'll put the scissors back in the middle. It's the moment of truth. It looks pretty okay. Doesn't look great. Rosie, Hendrix Gin with St. Germain Elderflower Liqueur. I'm hearing is wonderful for cocktails. I got pulled into a Blue Rose RPG campaign. What's oh. that? Yeah, but what's Blue Rose? What is Blue Rose? Teach me, internet. Let's see, Blue Rose. I'm curious. I love Blue Rodeo is the first thing that comes up. No. It literally gives me a Blue Rose. Well, write it or PG after. Oh, right, thank you. <laughs> Durr. RPG. Oh, okay. Interesting. Do I take one more? Is a fantasy role playing game. Uh huh. Oh, the, hot, the art looks cool. Oh, this is pretty. Age role playing game. Hmm. Dope. Wow, the art is like traditional fantasy. Yeah, it's like very yeah. D&D. &D. I really have to coordinate my outfit for that launch party. I'm super excited. Cause we had our How to Train Your Dragon game, like the new one had come out uh -huh. when the movie came out. And none of us thought to like dress accordingly. Well, obviously like, what am I gonna wear? A Viking outfit, like hello. Um, <laughs> But they, they got us like these like Viking helmets and it was the cutest thing. So obviously me being who I am, I'm like, give me the helmet, give me my sword. And I was just like walking around like la la la. And we had like little dragon pins. So I started painting the dragons to myself and I'm all like foam <laughs> swords and Viking horn helmets and <laughs> drinks. And, um, and obviously there's cringy photos from it, so. Obviously. Obviously, they had Obviously. to snag all the photos. And I was like one of the only buffoons who like kept all the, all the costume items they had, I put them on. <laughs> I was like, I'll take one of those and one of these. <laughs> Moving on. But for d and I'm definitely gonna like bring my own stuff from home. So it's gonna be uh, pretty cool. I'm definitely oh. gonna go like slice this a little more like up top. I keep it like Rosila. Have some cohesiveness to your work. What's, What's that? that? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Literally, oh God. Ayurvana, I saw Ayurvana wrote something. Brill Rose runs on the age system. It's considered a romantic fantasy published by Green Ronin. It has intelligent animals. It's based loosely off of Mercedes Lackey's Velgarth books. Harold oh. books. So it was like an 
Uh, I never heard of that series, but I'm guessing it's like an old fantasy series. Um, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. Like anything yeah. with good lore, good story will make a good RPG. Which is why like the Witcher series did so well in my opinion is because yeah. it wasn't just a video game, it was a novel, so. Well, more than a novel, it's a whole series of yeah. books. Yeah, it's There's five books. So many. If you consider the prequel, I think it's five. Um, no, I think there's more than that. There's like All right. two out of the series book, and then there's like the five that is the whole. I can't do this with a scissor. I'm gonna have sorry, to do it. The whole story, I think. I own a couple of them. Same. I bought Blood of Elves, which is yeah. like the first. It's a prequel. Yeah. And you've got uh, The Last Wish and Sort of Destiny that are um, like even before that. Sub books, yeah. Yeah, sub books. I have, I have Last Wish because I didn't know which came first, Last Wish or Blood of Elves, so I just bought mm. both. Those are the only two I have. And the rest, like the book was like so off from, like I read the book before the video game. Mm -hmm. And once I, I started playing the video game, I was like, okay, I'm confused. So it was kind of like Game of Thrones in that sense. Like if you're doing both, yeah. It gets confusing. Yeah. So I had to like wait till the series was over for the year and then read. Can't do it at the same time. It's just so confusing. You're like, is Yen in this book? Is she not? Why is she not? Like, why is it Triss? Where is Yen? And then in the video games, like Yen is there and you're like, what's going on? Je ne comprends pas. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Okay, so I don't need that anymore. I'm wondering if I should like start coating it with some gesso already. No, I'm gonna heat gun it actually. So I don't need this anymore. Okay. So I'm gonna keep this in here for scraps. I'm gonna, we're gonna pull that out. Garbage. Okay, we're trying to clean up here a bit. Like it's it's very important to keep up with your cleaning when you're doing your cosplays. Except the only time I won't clean while I'm like creating something is when I'm dremeling, cause I know, unless it's like perfect, I'm like, okay, I'm done dremeling for sure. But yeah, it's so messy. As soon as I'm not in the like, okay, now I'm starting to paint. I don't like, clean. I'm not done with the dremeling. Yeah, like, I don't know that I'm done for sure. It has to be perfect. Man, I remember I brought my Dremel here and I was like, what am I doing? I'm not gonna start Dremeling in here. Yeah, with all the equipment. Oh, uh, hell no. I don't think it would not like Not a good dust. idea, no bueno. No, no. no. Oh, Mocha Ball. Hi everybody, hello. Welcome. It's so nice to see hey, you hello. again. I'm so weird. Or maybe I'll just wait. Dremeling. Dremeling is like, you know, it's like a picture like sanding, but it's like- With a power tool. A power tool and it's just like for detailing. So you can actually shape, you know. You're a power tool. <laughs> hey, why are you using my jokes, dude? I always say that. God, like people have faces and I'm like, you're a face. Someone was telling me like, oh, the fruits are, this is like a squishy fruit. And I'm like, you are a squishy fruit. And they're like, what? I remember telling one of my gay friends that he was literally like, did you just call me a squishy fruit? And I was like, <laughs> oh no, that's not what I meant. And it's just like, really, and he's like, yeah, sure. Offended. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not reading that out loud, man. <laughs> I am not reading that out loud. You. Vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using that as an insult. I'm just, you know, stating facts. <laughs> Guys, never call your friends vegans. It's highly offensive. <laughs> it is, right? Like, girl. You know what? I say, get. Let's slop the gesso on. Oh no, wait, I had to use the heat gun. Can you pass me the heat gun? Yes. 
Oh, wait. How are you able to cut with the scissor on it? Like on that, so your precision is like so good. Well, I'm doing tiny chops of okay, scissors yes. we go. at a time. Okay, that's why. Yeah. But how do I'm you not get like these kinds of lines then? You know, like the little ticks. <sighs> well, there's some. Okay, yeah, there's some. I see it now. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna go over it with an exacto probably later at night, or if I heat it up enough. I also have like heat gun gloves at home. I don't. I just burn myself. Can relate, girl. I'm not even gonna <laughs> lie. Actually. So what TV shows are you guys watching? I know you were saying you're watching The 100. Is there anything, yeah. other TV show that you're like super invested in? We're cosplayers, we're into pop culture and we're, yeah. we're all into our little fandoms and shit. So what was the last show, anime, movie that really struck a chord with you? I think, Besides the hundred, the other show that I'm really invested in right now is Outlander. <laughs> I mean, if you like period pieces and like that kind of stuff, it's like perfect for you. I I live for period pieces. And it's I, also like yeah, yeah. And I like and the um, well, last season not so much, but the first last season was the one in France. No, it was two seasons ago. God, that because that's where I'm at. That's kind of um, where I dropped off. But season one and two, what I really liked was really the um, gory side to it. Yes, it's a romantic period drama, but you have like all war and nasty yes. stuff happening. Yes, and it's you really... Um, it was like raw. emotional, yeah. Yeah, it's really raw. And that's a thing that I liked about how it's directed and uh, written. Agreed. Like, I liked that it was like darkish as well. Yeah. Like, I, I, I dug that. I dug it. Um, it's also a book. Yes. Yep. So yes, I think the first book was uh, published 20 years ago or something. Yeah. It's, so it's been a while. It, yeah, it's not new. Aruvana says The Order. Oh, is that like one of those like Netflix stories that's like, I think it's about werewolves? Hmm, I think so. Hold up. I think I, think I know what you're talking about. The Order. Yes. Sweet. It's like a school of... So close, yet so far. Ben said a school of rock. No. What is it? Yeah, it's like a culty kind of school. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But it's giving me the episode descriptions and not the actual series description. Thanks, what am I gonna do with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I bet this enough. Like, it doesn't have to be too crazy. It just has to take a bit of shape, which it has now. Mm -hmm. Also, I sliced this just a bit too much. I know, like I snipped it and I was like, Colin. Colin the bin. bin. I had a teacher in elementary school who would always say that, Colin the bin. <laughs> and I was like, ew. Like, what kind of swear is that? Sorry, I go, I go intense or I don't at all. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited that I'm watching Cosplay Cave. Moko Mo. You know where it's at, you know? I'm so weird. Okay, I'm moving on. Why is my hair so oily? Oh, you know why? Okay, because I recently dyed my hair. And uh, when I dye my hair, I use like baby oil on my face and everywhere so that it doesn't like stain me. Mm -hmm. And then like it gets on my hands and then I keep touching my hair. And then even when I take a shower, like it's still there. I even shampooed my hair twice, but it's been like, it's been a day since I dyed it and it's already, no, I did it on Monday. It's already like still oily. Whereas my hair usually takes like a week to get oily because I've trained it. 
I like mm -hmm. try to wash my hair the least as possible. So once it gets to this summer, yeah. like I don't, my hair is not oily every like second day. Mm -hmm. But then again, sometimes it happens. But. Yeah, well, today with the hat and the warmth, Mom, I know. Maybe it didn't help. Yeah, and the AC in my office, like murdering me, murdering me. Well, it's better too much AC than like a uh, squelching heat. Like a, an oven. Are you, are you giving me a, um, an idea of your workplace? Uh, pretty much, like I... So where are you working now? Are you working on like a certain project? Well, right now I just finished one and the next one is starting in two weeks-ish. Okay. So I'm in a bit of a vacation. I'm not gonna actually do But um, it's like big, um, in general it's workshops. It's uh, like no ACs. Everything cement, dusty. Because that's where they put all the costume designers and all of the people working on stuff. We're artists. Artists, we suffer for art. You get the corners. <laughs> Go in there. Go into the dark, asbestos-filled, uh, moldy, uh, well, damp, it's, it's humid. It's not that bad. It's room. just it just gets really warm. But what I really enjoyed um, is working from home. Oh, nice. I can't always do it, but sometimes I, I get to, and I have a good AC, and uh, the... She's like, my AC is great. <laughs> yes, I love my AC. It's really powerful. And the hydro is included in my rent. So it's not an extra, so I can use the AC as much as I want. When they say hydro is included in your rent. Yeah. It's the best. My God, we only have 15 minutes left. Really? Como? Huh? Como? It went by so fast. I know, I told you. Yeah. As usual, like a lot of our guests on Cosplay Cave, Audrey was like, I'm so nervous. And then you're like, shit, two hours. Like, what are we going to do? Well, I made this. Nope. Technically, I don't even have to do anything to it. Like, I can literally just wear it like that. Which would be... Well, it would work. It's, it would work, I just, I don't really. And it, like, it depends what's your intent with it, but if you do just want to wear that cosplay at the poolside for that one convention, it doesn't need to be like nope. this big thing. I think I'm just gonna use like a clear Mod Podge over it. I'm gonna just like fix that circle, clear Mod Podge. I won't even paint it. And I'll put the clips on so that I can put it on my wig. And yeah. that's it, and you're set. Keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. Um, also, knowing that the weather is not gonna be great, like, je peux pas casser ma tête. Like, I don't wanna like break my head to try to make something perfect. If the weather is going to be poopy, um, I should have done that storm with the, the mohawk. Yeah, I, I should have. I could just like tie my hair in like a series of ponytails, you know, and then just do like a big full hop. That's what I'm like picturing in my life right now. Yeah, I definitely need that. No. I'm actually gonna look up the weather now. Um, it's not summer yet, right? It's the week before summer technically officially starts. So yeah. I, I was never expecting like 30 degree weather, but it would have been nice. Well, it's, it could have been like um, the last couple of years, it's been nice and warm. And you know what, Anime North, it's all like warbler melting everywhere. Like it's yeah. that warm and it's in May, so. Yeah, Why you're not? not wrong. It really depends. Really depends. Blue Mountain. St. Catherine? J that's not it. Ontario. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't even know where that is. Okay, so it's 18 degrees in Blue Mountain right now, which is not bad for the evening. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the weather. 
What is it? Oh good my god, guys, or a bad pardon, scream? pardon me. I just spent an entire a week more than that. And this whole and this entire show making something for a bathing suit cosplay, I may never wear. <laughs> okay? I'm losing it. Um, so it was 21 degrees, sunshine, and beautiful today in Blue Mountain where I'm going to YetiCon tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be 14 degrees. It's gonna be raining. Then, oh my, oh, uh, mon dieu, God, yeah. Don't cry, Rosie, everything is this. Um, and then on Friday, um, yeah, so Friday's gonna be a couple, a couple of showers. Thanks. <laughs> <sighs> you picked a good year not to go. Um, <laughs> a couple of showers, okay. 20 degrees, not bad. I can live with that. And then Saturday, the huge day, is gonna be a couple of afternoon showers. Well, there goes the, there goes the tan. And 17 degrees, great. What a lovely weather. Lovely weather we're gonna have at YetiCon. Definitely gonna get those swimsuit cosplays in there. Also, in the news, Sunday, you know the day where everybody from Montreal has to drive seven hours back home? Yeah, like leave at 2 p.m. Yeah, and check out, mm -hmm. It's 21 degrees and sunny, <laughs> partially sunny. What the heck? Can you like shift that weather up, please? What am I supposed to do with all the swimsuits I bought? Do you know how many swimsuits I bought? I'm triggered right now, guys. We have 10 minutes left of the show and I'm gonna spend it <laughs> complaining about the weather. No, but you know what? You know what the, the silly thing is, is that I uh, decided to plan only bathing, <laughs> only bathing suit cosplays for this convention, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Last year, it paid off very well. Like I got a bunch of shoots. I was comfortable. I loved it. I was just putting on wigs and doing like the simple fun things that I remembered at a convention. I was able to do whatever I wanted. Um, whereas if you have a big cumbersome costume, if you bring one, it's fine. You do your shoot and then you're over it. You're done and you change. But I knew people who were bringing a few of them. And I remember my first year I did that and I was like, WTF, never doing this again. Because it was so stressful and you're bringing, lugging a lot of stuff, first world mm -hmm. problems. Okay, Ben, I know, okay. Meanwhile, isn't a bathing suit cosplay perfect for duck? <laughs> You're not wrong, Eruvana. You know what? I'm gonna totally be that girl like, oh, is it raining? And this was actually me. There was like, the only time we got kicked out of the pool is one, it was almost 11 p.m. We like broke into, oh, sorry. We oh. jumped the fence of a nicer hotel's swimming oh. pool. Guys, do not do this. It was no bueno. Don't try this at okay. home. No, what actually happened is my friend jumped the fence and then he came to open the door for us. And then, went, and then we went in to the hot tub and the lifeguard who was like still there because only the hot tub is open at that time was like, oh guys, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's raining. I was like, it's drizzling. Like, ask me if I care. Like, let's go in the hot tub, right? It was great. I love being in the hot tub when it's raining. It's, it's so nice. And then there was lightning. <laughs> And he was like, okay, guys, yeah, gotta, yeah, gotta go. And we're like, yeah. no, 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 it's so far, I'm counting. And he's like, get out of the pool, let's go. And I was like, well, it's, you know, it's 10.49 anyway, so peace. All right. Little did he know, we weren't even supposed to be there in the first place. <laughs> they also had a better gym, so that's why we would go there. They, like, I remember our hotel gym just had like, um, it didn't even have treadmills, it had like bikes. Um, oh, who, who cares? It's a vacation, con. You're not listen, there to train. Sometimes you gotta get a little swole. You gotta get, you gotta get that that like, like pump going. You gotta get that. You gotta, you, you, you gotta, you gotta get a, you gotta get a little buff. You know. <laughs> You're not gonna get buff in no, one train. No, I'm buff. Job, <laughs> you get swole. Like you get, you get that like that. Your your muscles like when they heat up, they get swole. Like they, you know. You know? So if you're gonna, you're about to do like a bathing suit shoot, you just, you, you just do a couple hundred squats, a couple hundred. <laughs> a 
And then you're like, Gucci, let's go. Let's get it. And then you're like, okay, I'm ready. But I'm joking. No, I, I, I don't never care enough over. to do that. No. Um, but yeah, no, but the Thursday when I went with my friends, we went to the gym because it was like, oh, it's a journey relax. We were in the piscine and we were in the gym. Vendredi, c'était la journée où on a fait toutes nos... Wait, I'm going French. And then... <laughs> so we went to the gym. We went to the pool on the Thursday because it was chill. No one was there. Friday was the in-costume shooting and all that stuff. Meeting with people and schmoozing. And then the first party is on the Friday. Uh, where you get to like talk to everyone. It's always fun. And then the Saturday is another party. Um, so yeah. Now that it's raining though, it also sucks because everything is outside, you know? Like, so you're, you want to walk around and like talk yeah. to people and see people, but instead you're like, oh, I'm just gonna go to my hotel room. And then you're just like running from hotel room to hotel room. Yeah. Kind of like you said, like when the tornado happened, mm -hmm. like it was like tornado warnings on all the screens and then everybody kind of just like stayed in whatever hotel room they were at and partied with those people, mm -hmm. you know? Like yeah. what else are you gonna do? Well, when it happened that year, it was like at the end of the day slash early in the evening. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't much else to do. But I think this year they have like more, more shows, panels, mm -hmm. whatever planned. Because okay. back then it was like the first, the second year maybe. So it was like a really smaller convention. Yeah, there was a lot less people. And now we have a lot of people coming from out of town, like stuff like that. Yeah, so. and you have guests from out of the country and yeah. Yeah, there's, I've been it, checking the convention. And oh, everyone says exercise flushes the muscles with blood to increase oxygen exchange, which causes the muscle tissue to swell a bit. Mm -hmm. Swole. Uh, so you look more cut if you do some mild exercise. That's, that was all we were here to tell you today on okay? <laughs> you know, the headbands we made, useless. Um, yeah. It was a very reason. useful, very useful. But um, yeah, no, so what was your favorite cosplay convention experience? Yerikan, for sure. Right, okay, because yeah, that's it's my favorite convention. I'm so sad to miss it this year. But aren't you so comforted by the fact that it's gonna be so yes. disgusting? It makes, it's it's the silver lining. It's the silver lining. I'm yeah. crying inside. Someone <laughs> stabbed me. <laughs> Thank you, that was convincing, right? Oh man. Uh, oh man, uh, it's funny, like in Montreal, they organize like a not going to YetiCon picnic and that happens sometimes. People get FOMO when they don't go to conventions. <laughs> so they'll organize like other get togethers in their hometowns and be like, guys, can we just gather in costume or like in casual cosplay? Just feel better yeah. about ourselves. <laughs> I, I didn't know that there's people doing it. I think not it was going in to Toronto. YetiCon? It was like a picnic or oh, something okay. like that. Yeah, oh. like not going to YetiCon picnic. Well, the Meltdown Crafting Day on Sunday is going to be happening, and yeah, that's going to be, gonna be uh, fun, I think. Not it will be my cosplay. first time going to the one in Montreal. I've been. To oh, the really? One, well, I've been to the one in Quebec City. Yeah. Uh, I. But yeah, it's the first time like scheduling things work out, so I can attend. But uh, the Meltdown in Quebec was like in a basement, right? Yeah. I don't know, I find like... Well, the meltdown was in the basement. Yeah. Oh, like all of it. So the crafting was there as well. The one in Montreal is a little more inviting, I find. Okay. It's, um, so it's on the second floor, it's on Saint Denis, which in and of itself is like a really happening street. So even mm -hmm. if you want to go somewhere else after, it's a lot of fun. Um, they have like a balcony too. So oh, it's like a terrace, kind of a terrace, sorry, a patio, whatever you call it. Um, and so they open the windows and the windows are like full length. So kind of like mm -hmm. you get the air from inside, you get natural lighting. So if you're painting something and crafting, it's like you're not in a dark muggy basement. It's a lot of fun. You get to meet so many cosplayers and stuff. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a lot of fun. And they- I sure hope so. Oh, you will. Like they make sure that they're well equipped too. Like they have plugs mm -hmm. for everyone and you can see what everybody's working on from Montreal mm -hmm. Comic Con. Cause this is Con Crunch guys. Yeah, I'll probably keep working on my Mera cosplay. Mm -hmm. Like, still working on that armor, the crown. What else does she have? Um, Her boots, the wedges, are you doing the wedges? Uh, I don't have wedged boots and I 
don't want to spend like eighty dollars for a pair of boots. So I'm yeah. I'm just gonna use a heel shoe that I have and do a boot cover. Oh, for sure. For it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not worth like to actually do. It. But I noticed in yeah. the movie that she was wearing wedges. Oh, for sure. It's it's a big thing in superhero movies for female to have a uh, female character to have wedged boots. Wonder Woman does too. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Like as a costume designer, as someone who's like into geek them, like well, I I see the visual effect. Mm -hmm. And one of the aspect that uh, isn't always up to the designer to decide is what the di director wants. Yeah. What the actors want to when there's like there's, yeah. there's certain actors that have demands <laughs> I want and like sometimes way. like you have to comply to those demands so like I don't know how it works on those big movies but like there's all those factors that come in as well so like if the director is like I want the girls in boots in heels she's wearing heels when she's kicking ass yeah I don't care. But at least it's it's a wedge. It's not like a stiletto heel. Yeah, she's not. But like Catwoman in stilettos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, it's manageable. If I were that superhero, I would like go in com combat boots, like flat, I mean, sturdy. That's logical. But yeah. Well, I mean, I can't wait to see the finished product. So Montreal Comic Con. Uh, yes. Catch Audrey cosplay. You can also find her Instagram as well. Do you have your Facebook as well? Yeah, uh, everything is at Audrey cosplay. Very simple. A U D R E Y cosplay. Yeah, on Facebook, Instagram, simple. Twitter. I don't use Twitter much, but. And then they can find your Etsy shop through any of those. Yes. Dope. Awesome. Because I didn't know you did that. That's great. Like yeah. I love, like the artists and the cosplayers that we have who have like their own like side gig and they're 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 like uh, commissioning mm -hmm. taking commissions and stuff like yeah. it's awesome to promote that as well so that if you mm -hmm. can't build your own cosplay you can always have someone build it for you yeah. you know or even parts of it uh and uh audrey thank you so much for coming on the show thank you for having me it was fun so guys don't forget to follow us click on the heart just right above there and if you want to support our channel please subscribe it helps us a lot we're a big team with so many other shows on our channel as well so if you tune in on Monday, you'll catch full party at six, seven. seven, seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then on Tuesday you'll catch Julian the Coolian playing uh, uh, some video games on Friend Request. Board games now. Oh, oh, board games too? Yeah. Dope. So at six p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and right after that, after a brief break, we have Eric Cohen on depth of field. Uh, we don't know who his guests are, but his guests are always big name people, whether it's comedians, actors, fight choreographers, video game voice actors, voice actors for anything. It's just, yeah, I, I swear, the people who've been on that, worth it. And uh, that's gonna be starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. And then we'll be back here next week at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, with myself, my lovely Yeti Con stories, and thank you again to our sponsor, Arta Wigs Canada. And don't forget that our discount code is gonna be unactive starting tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. So you better be snagging your stuff and use the code Arta Bean before that expires, guys. Cause it's con crunch season and we have foam to buy and lovely wigs, wigs. like this one to buy. And yes. they're expensive. But if you spend 50 bucks, you'll get $10 off with our discount code. So Arta Bean. Thank you so much to Art of Weeks Canada. We will see you at YetiCon. I'm pretty sure they're going to YetiCon. Thank you, Audrey, again for being here. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.